Welcome to the portion of the video that includes the basic modules along with some of the tools that go along with that. When you purchase Verisurf, you will be looking at a basic module that is part of the requirement of the overall package, including the VDI, which is the Verisurf device interface, the reports manager that allows you to see the data that you have collected, and the various tools, including MBD, something we're very excited about called Model Based Definition. Okay, so as we look at the screen here, the Verisurf screen was going to show us the variety of different selections on the root menu. We'll be referring to this as the root menu anytime we see Verisurf here at the bottom middle of the screen. The root menu includes all the access to the tools that are included in part of the basic structure. Let me minimize this little guy. We'll come back to him in just a second. When we look at our screen, we have the ability to analyze, create, file. This is file management to get and write files, etc modify, transform, delete. If you are familiar with CAD systems at all, you would notice that a lot of the terminology here is very standard type of terminology, verb, noun, syntax you'd see in CAD systems. That's because Verisurf runs within a native CAD environment. It's fairly unique in the industry. What we have the ability to do is not only read in models from various CAD systems, but anything you create within this CAD environment can be used to be passed on towards CAM or inspection or even back to CAD if you want to do some more work in a different system. But you have the capability within Verisurf to complete a project from A to Z, not needing another system to be in interim to uh, finish off your project. As you can see here, if I just select on Create, I have all the different various CAD tools here, Create, Line, Point, Arc, whatever. If I go back here, I have the ability to read different file formats, be it ASCII point files, step files, which would be a solid, Autodesk files, which includes DWG and DXF, good old standard we call IGES, Parasolids, STL files, etc. On the next menu, we have options to be able to read in CATIA, Unigraphics, as well as Rhino and some other various different systems. Pretty much, those are definable by the user we've tried to encompass all the different standards that are out there in the industry today. The importance of the Verisurf basic module is that it's the basis of what the system rides on. It is the engine that drives the software. If we look at all of the little tools that we see here, it's all based off of a three-dimensional environment that allows you to live and work within the data that you're creating. The important thing to note on the basic module is that it also provides the interfacing to whatever hardware you might be on. Let's expand this little menu here long, far enough to see what we're looking at and then go into the sub-menu here that shows us the different hardware we can hook up to. One of the things that's unique about Verisurf uh, in the industry is that we have the ability to hook up to pretty much any data collection device that's out there whether it be photogrammetry, whether it be laser tracking, whether it be articulated arms, laser projection, we have the ability to hook to up to these devices. When you purchase Verisurf, you get access to the entire library. You are not being sold an interface per hardware device. So in other words, if you have one arm from one particular vendor today and a year from now you buy another one, you do not have to come back to us if it exists within our library, you will have access to it at no charge. You have also the ability to drive up to four devices in a session off of one computer device. So if you have an arm, and if you have a tracker, and if you want to then select a scanning system, you have the ability at any given time to talk to those devices during that session. That's all within our Verisurf device interface, which we call VDI. An extension of what the basic system is as well is that we have AutoLine. That is again very much part of the basic system. In the basic system we want to have the ability to take a model, read it in, and align it to the device that we're inspecting. Now I'm going to quickly read in a model and I'm going to take you through step by step what happens when we do an alignment. If I go into pick the part that I have currently here on the table, it's the part that we have used as uh, demonstration purposes in the past. What you basically have is a surface model. If you notice from the bottom, it's hollow. It's a surface model. It's got surface entities. It's got spline entities. It's got circle entities all included in this very much a CAD database. What we have here is the ability to select quickly, after I read the model in, the surfaces that I want to use or the points 
that I want to use for an alignment. I know that this particular model has datums associated to this model. So I'm going to create an alignment based on datums that's prompted from the software automatically. And if I move this out of the way, you can see the model currently has targets described on the model that are part of its datum definition. So if I run the macro that we just quickly created by saying yes to datum alignment, the software will automatically generate one by one the targets that I need to trigger on the arm to align this product. So I'm going to take the arm now and I'm going to step over here to that first target and I'm going to hit a point. Notice you get an audible feedback from the software and the uh, computer that you've recorded a point. I'm going to push the trigger for the next point and then for the next. Now at this point we've only measured three points or snapped or digitized three points and now we notice on the screen we have a true real-time representation of the shaft and the probe tip itself off of the arm. Now right now it's roughed in based on the three points I took so at this point when I take this point the software makes an adjustment to further dial in the graphic to the model and again here we have our last point. Now what did we do? We did three, two, one. So we did a primary plane, a secondary axis, and a tertiary point. And then we have, when we do that last point, part of that macro that we generated on the auto align, we have six points, datum targets one through six, which are labeled datum A, datum B, datum C, as they were labeled in the database. And we have the ability to mod massage or modify any numbers that we need. If we look over here in the 3D column, we have zeros all the way down, which means there was zero deviation from the points I collected to alignment of the model. If I accept that, the software will show me quickly a graphic image of the part with the MBD, which again is part of our standard basic package. The MBD allows you to define for each of the entities on the database the contour tolerance or the true position tolerance, any of the GD and T, geometric dimensioning and tolerancing that you might have associated to the model. Now what we're doing in this case is we see here the tags for datum A's, the tags for datum B, and the tag for datum C. This part has been aligned to the predefined tags. Now if I were to simply drag the arm over to the model, we'd see a reaction of a gauge popping up on the screen, some digital data popping up on the uh, screen as well, and this is a representation of our build product. We'll be going into that in another section of the video. Just a quick wrap up of what we've seen so far in the basic module. We've been able to work within a CAD database. We've been able to communicate to a device to measure. We've been able to align the CAD database to that device and then we've been able to quickly do things like generate a report based on what we might have done so far. We've only done datum targets, so that's what we see currently on the screen for the model thus far.